Hello and welcome to this session. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how it became easy to create parameterized test in GUnit. So let's get started. For our demo, I prepared this class. It consists of one function that checks whether a given string is a valid UUID. So this is my class and this is the method. It accepts a string and my goal is to write a test for that. With this small function, I generate some valid values as seen here. And my goal is to test whether this method is working as expected. And for that, I created this JUnit test. I have here three values. In the first test, we are testing this UID if we run. It is green, so this is the happy path. So let's write a function for when the string is invalid UID, and we have to adjust here. See, it works, but the problem I need many, many functions, and for each value, I need to write a method. Fortunately, in GUnit 5, you can also create parameterized tests. So in my poem, I just added this dependency params. All we need to do is to change the test annotation to parameterize the test and we have to provide provider and the provider in our case is a csv file and here we will define each line will be a test case so for example let's add this one this is the value we want to test and the expectation we can add it here is true and then we can add a second line this one is wrong this should fail and you put a second argument the expectation is false we can change this method name to check all path and the method accepts two arguments string the uuid this is this one and the second is boolean and it is provided here and you see it is separated by a column now so this value will be automatically injected here in uuid so let's use uuid and the expectation is the second value let's run now and you see each test is executed separately for example if this one fail let's change it so we see the result listed here. The first one fails and the second one was successful. One other thing, in this format we can also test empty. So when the UID is an empty, empty should include it by a single quote. And the expectation is false. And we can also provide a null. So for null you need null's values are just empty string without this single column. So let's check now and you see all the results so the tests are done separately they are listed here and if one fails you can infer from this report here which one has been failed i was this was helpful thanks for watching and bye